so a digital version this year. Um, I want to quickly uh, thank our three main sponsors, Mono Design, Microsoft and Agentschap Binnenlands Bestuur. But without further ado, I want to give the floor to our very own Ton van Acht. Yes, hi everybody. Big, big warm welcome in this closing session of a very exciting month. And first of all, big thanks to Astrid for who's really pulled off a great, great, great event. We went fully online instead of the one day event we had in the past. You see the sponsors on, on this first slide. If you work in a company or organization that would like to have more of these sessions, you know to reach out to Astrid. Uh, I will be moderating this last session. I'm the outgoing chair uh, of uh, Open uh, Belgium and Open Knowledge Belgium. And uh, Meet, who's also in this session, is the incoming chair. So uh, she, you will see more and more of her in all our upcoming events. And without further ado, I will give a three minute intro on what we've seen and learned during this Open Knowledge Belgium. Uh, yeah, uh, an Open Belgium conference that we have the webinars for a fair, free and open future. And just so you know, instead of this one day, it were 24 sessions with 58 speakers. We picked 13 days during the month of March and over 685, uh, 58, sorry, 685 attendees made it into the session and you are all adding up on that. So it's going to be nice. The most few sessions, 75 attendees, was the base API for open data, linked data event streams. Uh, so uh, congratulations for everybody who joined that one um, for everybody who missed it. You might want to pick up on that one because we will soon release all those videos of all the recordings during uh, the month of April. Not a joke. And you find them at 2021.openbelgium.be. Now, I will share some insights that we learned in several of those sessions. Of course, we can't go over all of them, but there was the real importance of decent metadata. This is something that came up in many of the talks. Um, also, more and more projects are striving for machine readability, and especially with the, the goal and the importance of, of, of feeding good AI applications, to have the good data with the good metadata to make sure that you have quality inputs so you don't get the garbage out that you get otherwise. Um, most speakers also now talk about linked open data rather than just open data. So LOD, linked open data, it stands for two things. It's level of detail. If you go to the, the data sets in geospatial, for example, for a house, how much detail you see, but in the context of open data, it refers to linked open data, a field uh, that is really uh, going uh, further uh, very quickly and something to keep an eye on if you aren't yet familiar with it. Interoperability. I got that right from the first time. I, so this is, I'm, I'm setting the bar here. <laughs> Mathieu Michel, interoperability is a tough word. It takes a few times to rehearse to get it right. But, uh, we hope to see that you can also get that into practice with the government applications. We had some administrations, some public administrations, ADB from Flanders, Boza from the federal level, who asked our community for real, genuine feedback and ideas. So this is something, first of all, we love to do that. We love to be asked and we love to contribute. It's, it's really, I would say, the DNA of our community that we want to help things make better and help, I would say, all those who struggle to implement all the nice open ideas that we all strive uh, to see happening, to help them with our skills and our knowledge and experience. No surprise, but open health data, I don't know why, was a very hot topic during Open Belgium at 2021. And I would like to uh, especially thank the people of Cienzano, who, 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 who I would say who took on the, the difficult task, because we know that all of them as scientists, they adhere to these principles, but at the same time, they have many burning requests going on. And so they find themselves sometimes in a tough spot between what they would like to do and what they're able to do in the short term. So they did take on a, a great role in the, the, the debate and discussion. So that's another session I can really recommend to look at. It was a very, very uh, insightful session I found. A lot is moving in that field of open science, especially, and the same for open cultural data. So those are definitely things that came up in several sessions. There is no need to trade data privacy for the common good, was a quote that uh, Isabel de Zeger uh, gave and that got a lot of, um, re that resonated very well with, uh, with, with our community. So there's really ways to, to, to get both right. Uh, social justice and ethics are recurring topics at Open, um, at Open Belgium. And I think in an, the next few years with AI, the ethical part will become bigger and bigger. Personal data governance, still a very big discussion point. Uh, we see that many, both private and public entities, are looking at a solid framework of Tim Berners-Lee and uh, researchers, as we never book, who are really going for that one. So if you haven't read up on that one yet, go and check it out. And then there is put the user back in control, which was often cited and which I think will resonate very well with uh, Mathieu Michel later on. 
because it's all about the people. People. That was a quote from Peter Jan Montens. That was definitely a very good one to close this on. And so without that, I want to thank all the speakers, all the contributors, everybody who has reacted in the chat for their hard work and really for their, 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 their much felt and appreciated help to make uh, Open Belgium 2021 a great success. And with that, I would like to hand over uh, the word to you. We try to put a monocle of open over your eye. Uh, I see that the, the font has shifted a little bit. We'll get it right next time. Uh, but as Belgian State Secretary for Digitalization in charge of administrative simplification, privacy and building control, we, we really uh, look, look forward to what you want to say to our community. So without further ado, the floor is yours, the camera is yours, and we look at a 360 view from the monocled uh, <laughs> picture that you see here. Okay, thank you very much, Tone, for this uh, introduction. Uh, and uh, I also would like to uh, to congratulate all the, the participants at uh, this event, uh, and also Astrid uh, for this uh, this organization. That's uh, that's really a, a good job. Um, I, I'm a little bit frustrated because uh, I, I'm a person who who likes. Uh, human contact uh, and it's a little bit, little bit frustrated uh, even for digitalization to uh, to have such an event uh, through the our screens uh, so that's yeah but um, I, I hope that we will uh, see each other in uh, in, uh, in real life uh, soon so i want to I don't, it's it's uh, it's um, it's fun because uh, a lot of topics that you mentioned uh, are in my presentation uh, today. Uh, those are really big concern uh, for me, but also for a big part of the, the government. Um, that, that's a reason for why I'm, I'm really glad to be with, uh, with you. Um, I see also I saw, I saw the all the participants uh, who, who took uh, to part to uh, to this event. Um, I see that, that there is many people who share their energy uh, in making uh, open uh, open knowledge, open data, open source. Uh, I want to say open Belgium, uh, such a smart nation. Uh, and I've got to say that since six months, I've already met so many interesting people contributing to the digitalization of uh, our country. That's really for me uh, a reason to be optimistic. Um, and every contact every discussion every advice that i receive makes me more motivated but also more confident in our capacity to uh, to to uh, to to make bigger things uh, to to be better um and this meeting gives me the the opportunity to expose a part a small part in fact uh, of my vision to make belgium a smart nation but first of all i have to tell you uh, what's a smart nation for me. I don't know if you, you have already um, heard that, that uh, expression from me, but for me, being a smart nation is above all a state of mind, a, a way of thinking that nothing is impossible, that we must believe in our dream, in our capacity to reach them. Um, it's also knowing that each fall, each fail, is a step towards a coming success. That's really the state of mind that I'm, I want for uh, my, my, my secretary. Um, a smart nation, it's a, a territory that's able to mobilize uh, itself for its citizens and its businesses around a common vision towards the future with efficiency and more with excellency. It's also a territory that develops its ambition all over the world. But above all, it's a nation that works together with all the gifted people towards the same ambition, uh, being smarter every day. And that is my job. My job is to build that smart nation. Luckily, a lot has already been done in that way. Um, and we are already smarter than we think. Uh, if you look, for example, uh, I'm sure you know it, uh, the DAISY ranking, you, you will notice that uh, we are um, at the ninth place on 28 countries among the European countries. Um, this is not bad at all, but that's not good enough. And uh, we, we must be uh, conscious that uh, the other countries are running faster and faster. And this is a race. And if we are not in advance, that means maybe that we are already late. So we, we must um, have a lot of ambition for our country and uh, for the digitalization of our country. Um, you, you all know Daisy Ranking is about 
infrastructure. Um, what I call trust, yeah, that is the, the usage of uh, digitalization by people. For me, to me, that's trust. Um, administrations, um, skills, and ecosystems. And to, to digitalize our country, the, those five topics uh, to me are, are really uh, important. And in, in 2015, Alexander de Croix, uh, he was in my uh, seat uh, then, um, developed uh, Digital Belgium. That was a plan based on those five topics. And it was a good idea and great things were made. Uh, for example, uh, uh, about AI, you mentioned it uh, uh, a few minutes ago. Um, the daily ranking, if you uh, if we anal analyze the, our, our ranking, um, is about so uh, infrastructure, trust, administration, skills, and ecosystems. Um, and each level of, go of government uh, in uh, in Belgium uh, has the tools uh, to act on uh, one of the, the those topics. Uh, for example, uh, if we do, if we take uh, the the skills, the skills. That's not only uh, the, uh, the the education. That's also the uh, the, the digital break. That's also uh, the, the the way we can um, uh, reorient it. Uh, we oriented uh, our uh, the, the skills in the companies. Uh, that's the way we can help uh, the uh, the small company to develop their uh, their digitalization. Uh, but that's not all always. The, uh, the responsibility of uh, the regions. Uh, it's sometimes uh, the federal state, it's uh, sometimes the communities. And that's a, a really important point to me, is that we have to, to develop a, a vision about those five topics, but we also have to mobilize, hold the level of governance to act in the same direction to have a vision who has uh, dealt uh, with, uh, with, uh, with many stakeholders and, uh, and public stakeholders. That's really important. Um, and I'm sure that today we need that digital plan, uh, digital Belgium, that plan. Uh, we need to take this plan further and deeper. And my action uh, will be based and is already based on three axles. Uh, I said it uh, just uh, just now. We need to share a vision, uh, and the vision is being a smart nation around around those five topics uh, I mentioned. Um, we need a bottom up governance, so we must to share a vision. It's it, it's uh, it means that we have to to, uh, uh, to to target some goals at ten euros, fifteen euros, twenty euros. Uh, so we have we must have a common target. Uh, but we must go to that target uh, with uh, together with all the person, all the energy who want to to uh, to to contribute to that smart nation. And in that uh, in that purpose, to me, the 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 governance uh, with um, uh, with the manner with, uh, with which is uh, bottom up is really important. That that means that we must see. Uh, far away, uh, but also with the most people possible. Uh, it means that we must we must implicate every stakeholder, and and we must listen to uh, to everybody to to make that uh, possible. And um, third of all, uh, we must act now. That's this. Um, it must then. It must be a vision. It must be uh, made with uh, a bottom-up governance, but we may we must act now. Um, I don't think we have uh, many time to lose because I said it. It's a race, and if we are not in advance, that's maybe that we are already too late, and that's a problem. So we don't have uh, time to lose. Um, I, want, I also want to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not an open data expert, uh, as you are. You probably are. You are probably uh, open data expert, open source expert. Um, but I still have some experience with Ubuntu, GIMP, uh, or Open Office uh, a few years ago. Um, so I'm not an open source expert, but I, I do politics since more than 20 years. And I know that creativity, perception, trust, 
responsibility are the keys of many progress from, for mankind. Technology is not an end. It's a tool to build a, a better world for everyone. Better healthcare, better mobility, better education. Um, the, the purpose of technology uh, is to make humans feel better. And therefore, I think technology belongs to, to everyone. It belongs to, to humanity. And that is a human responsibility uh, to manage technology, innovation, in law and law in that way. Uh, and that is my job. There are two priorities that I want uh, to, 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 to expose you uh, uh, today um, in which uh, I want to play a, a big role. Um, that's, and uh, I said in the, the DAISY ranking, it, it was about uh, infrastructure, trust, administration, uh, ecosystem, uh, skills. Uh, I wanted, to, I, I can't speak about everything, uh, but, but here with you, I wanted to, to, to speak about trust um, and about administration. Um, trust is an obsession for me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you cannot build innovation without trust. Um, but you cannot build trust without transparency, understandability, visibility, um, you, you, readability, sorry. Um, and you know that better than me. Um, and it's about administration. Uh, the government uh, is a major player in digitalization uh, as it builds the context that made everything possible or not. That is a big responsibility. Uh, and that that responsibility is uh, I work it I work about it uh, on it sorry um, around the vision the governance and the action the vision the governance and the action that that's three major points for for me about trust uh, and I, I'm I'm really concerned that the, the, these uh, these last uh, days and and weeks about that trust in the the, the data the privacy uh, that's a major concern for me. Uh, it, it essentially goes over our personal data. Who has it? Who use it? For what reason? Uh, with which data governance? Uh, a lot of questions, uh, but to me, there is only one answer. And I, I've just re read it. Um, personal data belongs to people as long as they are not anonymous. Of course, you can decide uh, to share your personal data, but it must remain your own decision. Uh, it also uh, it goes over personal data. It also goes over the algorithms, how they act, on which purpose, uh, on which ethical base, uh, how they match the data with uh, each other. Uh, we must develop readability in the way algorithms uh, are built. We must also develop regulation to reinforce the user uh, in a context of globalization. And to me, in that way, uh, Europe is a good scale to build the fundamental, the fundamental base um, of digitalization. Uh, there, there, there are a lot of work in progress, like the Digital Services uh, Act, the, the, the Data Governance Act, uh, the Digital Market Act. Uh, all, all those re regulations are, will, will be uh, the opportunity for us to, to, um, to build the fundamental uh, base of the, the, the way we, um, we, 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 we identify uh, the digitalization for tomorrow. So the trust to me is really, really something uh, important in digitalization of our country to make Belgium a smart nation. Um, it's also about administration. That's the responsibility of the administration, or the, the responsibility of the government to, to, to build a, a positive context uh, for digitalization. Um, and the administration must be the friend of the people. Uh, it seems a little bit naive, but it must be a certainty for everyone. Uh, the job of the state uh, is to make life easier, smoother, for the citizens, uh, but also for the companies. That, that's the, the, the essence of uh, administration, is to help people. Uh, that's really important. It means that we have to focus on the, the actions that simplify their lives, but also actions that give them the tools to develop their own creativity, their ideas, their projects. Uh, tools like uh, e-books, uh, e-invoicing, like uh, e-ID, but also like the access uh, uh, of the data 
the open data, the, the, the linked open data, uh, is to, to give you that the, the fuel uh, that that, uh, that, uh, that 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 can creativity do his job. Um, you, you must know it's in the recovery plan, for example. Uh, more than 450 million euro uh, are oriented to digitalization in the, the administration. Um, as an example, one of my uh, main projects is this, pl is this plan uh, named uh, Unleashing Data. Unleashing Data. Um, the, the, the objective is to offer maximum open data to the ecosystems to feed their creativity. Um, that was a concern exposed by Open Knowledge a few months ago, um, and uh, and there we speak about mobility, we speak about uh, health, uh, we we uh, we speak about uh, about uh, whether uh, uh, all those data who can be used for um, to 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 develop some creativity, some ideas, um, and um, it, it speaks for itself. But uh, before unleashing data. We need to build a reinforced trust, and that is what I will do step by step. Uh, trust, and then uh, if if trust is strong, then we can unleash data uh, easily. There is uh, a lot to to be done in the the coming years. That's uh, that's uh, that, that's that's for sure. Uh, and we are not in advance, uh, but uh, I, I want to to say that to everybody that will, that I will assume assume my job in granting that innovation, ethics, and laws are deeply connected uh, together. Um, the society itself must also embrace the debate. Uh, digitalization must not be a debate for uh, some experts. Digitalization will build the world for to, uh, of tomorrow. And the world for tomorrow has to be for everyone, for, for 11 million uh, inhabitants in, in Belgium, not only for a person who understands the, the, uh, the, 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 the objective or understand the opportunities. It must be for everyone. Um, and so it, it cannot be only an initiated discussion, only for experts. The society must also take its place in building a digitalized, uh, digitalized world where the data and the open knowledge uh, takes uh, its place. I want to say to everyone uh, that I will fully support uh, with all my my work and all my heart each energy from Belgium. I know it's it's great. There is a lot of energy in Belgium because uh, I'm sure that uh, together that's a smart nation that we are building. Uh, and uh, I'm so glad to to uh, to to see that uh, that there is uh, so many people who uh, who take their part in that uh, adventure. And uh, I will do my job. And that's all uh, before the question. <laughs> that's uh, that's great. So first of all, big, big thanks for this very uh, nice introduction yourself, your policy and how you see many of the topics that we will touch upon later. Also for being so concise, because it leaves us a lot of time, actually more than half an hour for the Q&A. And as you might have seen in the chat, I will I will relay uh, what is there. Uh, I want to I want to thank Peter Kolpart, who is, uh, I would say, one of the pioneers and academics really going deep into the linked open data space. Uh, but before that, he was already, uh, um, I would say, pushing for open data for weather data. So the KME IRM is something with is a party with whom we've had, a, I would say, a courteous battle in the past because they get uh, revenues from selling their data. Uh, and we would like the those data sets to be open. As such, we, have, we don't have a problem with the fact that they will model it themselves and be one of the modelers and selling the model data, but we think that the, the measured data that are mainly being financed with public money should be open for the public good. And so I would like to know, that's a question from Peter, can you confirm that you've already spoken to them and that you have the funds to open this set now? Yeah, that, that's a, that, that's a, a perfect question because that that's a, that's a good example of uh, um, a, a state of mind, no, uh, about per, a person of institution who who has data, and uh, it's really important to understand that those data the, doesn't belong to those institutions. Uh, it, yes. it belongs to to everyone. Um, but one of the major problem in uh, in in this case is that they've built a, a business model. Uh, uh, the, uh, which counts on, on the, the revenue of the selling of the, the, the data. So first of all, we have to uh, to to, uh, um, to 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 break that model. Uh, we, we have to uh, to find a solution to say, okay, uh, that money 
you won't have that anymore. Uh, but we have to to uh, to, um, to 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 find finance to uh, to to make um, yeah to 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 compense the uh, the, the loss. Uh, so I'm already working on it, uh, and in the, in the, the the project unleashing data, uh, the purpose is first of all um, to to decide a strategy in uh, in uh, in big data and also the open data uh, to um, to to help uh, unleashing those problems uh, and to to go to the government uh, to to my colleague to say okay uh, do we have to live in a in a in a country with mm -hmm. open data so okay but we have to find uh, the, the the budget the, the finance to uh, to to change the model and that is something that, that's something important. Maybe. Uh, but that, that's an example. Um, Ali, that, that's not the only example, huh? uh, uh, which uh, which the model is uh, is so built that we have to change it. Yes, but this first of all, it's great to know that you're already talking to them and that you clearly adhere to this vision that it should be open. Maybe to oh, inspire sure. you in the in the UK when they had the floodings, they had three agencies that had been selling that, that type of data on water damage from, uh, from, from flooding to insurance companies. And their, their government went around and said, how much do you earn on that? And they just compensated them for the money because the greater good, a few weeks later, people were opening apps where you could see if your house was in one of those flood zones or not. And so sometimes it's cheaper for the government to just pay the 800,000 because that's the cost they have, they have given us that they get 800,000 a year from selling the weather data. It's, uh, I hope there's room in the 450 million euro budget to open that. And I, I can, I can, uh, I know many people are, are trying to tap into it, but uh, I think that would be uh, <laughs> yeah, one of the contenders. Not, not, yeah, but, but it's not 450 million uh, a year. No, no, that's, uh, no, no, no. I know it's a total, I know, absolutely. But, but uh, okay, thanks. So that's, that's one. I see a lot of questions are, 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 are coming up. Um, and uh, apparently, uh, Peter is also saying that there was a law in 1914 that says they need to have a revenue model. So you probably also need to take a legislative initiative to fix not just the business model, but even the law so that they can uh, they can no longer and they have to open and they, they don't are in this conflict of having a European uh, public service information directive saying this should be open as a high value data set. And on the other side, a Belgian law from 1914, which is quite a while ago, uh, where they say they should be making money. Huh? So it's, uh, yeah, it, it, and it shows immediately how hard it is in which type of job you are to, to get all those things done. But we, we are here to, <laughs> to stimulate you yeah. to get that done. One of my problems is that I don't have any uh, magical button uh, on which I can push to say, okay, it's, it's fixed. No, uh, we, I have to take every challenge step by step. Uh, yes. I, I, I spoke about, uh, well, we spoke about AI, but first of yes. all, if, if you want um, to, to have a, a strong AI, you have to, mm -hmm. to, you need to have strong uh, data, but also strong personal data uh, who were, uh, who will be anonymized, but first of all, you, you must build trust. So it's always a, a, a problem of to of, um, identify the first step to go to the, to the objective. Uh, and uh, for, for the data, the, the weather data, that's that's also the problem. Uh, but unleashing data, that project will help us to identify the first step to go to that objective. Okay, so we have high hopes on the meteor data and maybe uh, somebody else in the chat is saying, yeah, how could I have forgotten the laws of 1914? Which brings <laughs> us to a question we had in the pre course uh, Dimitri Gorsens asked like, will the, the Monitor Belge Belgique Stasblad soon have a GitHub or an API or a, a search interface where you can go full text and maybe find that law and type uh, KME and see what, what regulates them. Is this something that you also would like to see happen during your uh, period as a well, yeah. We are already working on it with uh, my, my okay. colleague, uh, uh, Vincent Van Twyck and Born uh, of the Justice, yeah. okay. uh, because of, uh, today uh, the, those uh, the, the the monitor uh, the, I don't know where, or how we say that in in English. Uh, the state gazettes, uh, the Belgian the state, state gazettes. gazettes. Yes, the Belgian state gazette um, must be um, uh, printed. Uh, so that's yes. that's also uh, uh, um, yes. an, uh, an old uh, state of mind. So we have to to change it. Uh, and it's uh, it's uh, it's on it uh, it is um, on its on its way. Okay, so that's. Uh, I hope I hope so that I in, uh, in in one year in one in one year we uh, we have we will have uh, made some uh, some progress.
Okay, great. Uh, I'm going through the chat and I would say other people too, if you have questions, don't hesitate to, to ask them in here. There's no bad questions and I, I, I'll try to pick up on them. And if you like somebody asking a question, you can support it or add your uh, your nuance to it. So uh, um, the, there's a lot of people asking, uh, uh, how would, can you explain further how you do this bottom up governance? How would you organize and manage that? Because it, it yeah, sounds great. The, the governance, the governance yes. you said? Okay. Yes. Um, uh, Alexander de Croix uh, had a, a team uh, in his cabinet. Uh, the, the name of that team was Digital Minds. Uh, you have all probably uh, heard uh, from that. Digital Minds was uh, a group of um, 15 people or 20 people uh, who, who, was, uh, who, who gave him uh, advice uh, a few years ago. Um, I, I want to... Uh, to, to uh, to, to begin from that, that's uh, a small group of person. Uh, I, I'm working it uh, right, right now, but I want that this group um, should not. This group should not be alone. It must under that group uh, be composed uh, with uh, under groups and under groups and under groups. Um, for example, uh, digital minds could be the first group uh, above all. But you can, you, you could have, and you will have uh, five group beneath digital minds, one for infrastructure, one for skills, one for ecosystems, one for, and you can always go deeper, deeper. Uh, for example, uh, in ecosystem, you can have a, a group for AI, but in this group, the group AI, you can also uh, generate a group for AI in health. Okay, and the 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 my my purpose, my, my objective, is to make a network that connects everybody. Um, there is a lot of uh, of um, uh, of, uh, of uh, initiative uh, that are taken, uh, like yours, uh, but that your your uh, initiative must be connected to a whole, and that's what I I uh, I. Uh, I um, I discover now there are a lot of energy, but they are not always working together, and that's a problem. And to me, um, uh, a bottom-up governance is to be able to connect all the person who have an expertise, who has uh, a, a point of view, who can um, bring something in the debate. Uh, that's really important because digitalization, that's not easy. Eh? That's not easy because for, for, to, to, uh, for you, digitalization is maybe open source, open data, uh, but for other digitalization are uh, uh, social media uh, or the digitalization may be uh, uh, robotics. Or, uh, and the, the digitalization is such uh, 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 a big uh, <clears throat> heterogeneous uh, uh, um, yeah uh, concern that it's important to uh, to 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 be aware of everything, and the best manner to me to to do that is to have a network uh, who connect everybody, uh, and that's not always uh, so. Okay, so those are the challenges. Um, we're yeah. following up on the meteor data. We have Adversteer and Peter Koppert saying, yes, the meteor data set was a success. The one they opened it in the Netherlands in 2004. So that's maybe if we go to our neighbors up north, a way to, to get inspired and see how they how they crack that nut. Uh, we have Johan Ronson who's asking, um, are there any plans on the federal level to create what the UK has done? Eh? They created a government uh, design service and they united 2000, uh, I would say like today in Belgium, each government agency has several online properties and it's hard to find your documents in there. And so they had a real plan with, I would say, real UX, UI experts on there with test groups to, to make sure there was like more uniform way to navigate to all the government websites. Is there any plan for this on the government, on the federal level? There, there, there is a, a plan that, that's called B app. Uh, B app is, uh, B -app. is the, the project. Okay. B app, yeah, that's the the the, the project to, uh, to, uh, to to give the sensation of simplicity uh, 
we 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 have, we we live in a in a complex uh, country with uh, with so much institution uh, and you 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 don't know if you you, you need to go to your uh, to the region to the the, the community to mm -hmm. the federal state to uh, to to that uh, responsibility that that's so complicated and the the objective and I I wrote it in my uh, uh, political declaration uh, the objective uh, enfin, that problem is not the problem of the citizen uh, mm -hmm. it's the problem of the politicians uh, and they, they they've made uh, uh, they've made a, a great job to make uh, things more complicated, uh, but that must not be the problem of the citizen. And so, B B app is uh, the, the the objective of B app is to to give the sensation of simplicity with uh, one app, uh, which is given to, uh, to to the citizen, and through this app you can access to. Uh, your city, the, the region, um, that that's really a, 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 a big challenge, uh, a big challenge in our, in our complex uh, institutions. Um, but the first step uh, to make that possible is the step I'm building a know uh, about the personal data, because you know it. If if you want to uh, to uh, to make that easier, uh, the the starting point are the personal data. And uh, the the first rule it 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 it, 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 um, it seems easy, but it's not easy uh, to to have uh, to to have in um, to 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 have a cadaster of all the data that the 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 state the institution have about you. That's even that that's not easy. So um, as I explained uh, it uh, a few minutes ago, um, you 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 fix your you identify your challenge. And then you must identify which is the first step to go to the, the challenge. And I, I have no, uh, I've got, I've got no, I haven't got uh, any magical button to 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 push and to say, okay, boom, mm -hmm. be up, it's a reality. No, 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 no. That that's that, that's not like uh, the, the way it it, uh, it works. So we went to to begin from the the, the start. The start is personal data. Uh, where where are they? Uh, what was the use of it? Uh, who uh, accessed those data? Mm -hmm. um, and the first step is to to uh, to give back those data uh, to which they belong, uh, the citizen, and then from the data uh, to build uh, services that uh, that uh, that simplify their lives. Okay, great. I will um, uh, I'll go to the, the, the solid question that uh, Peter is asking here on, on his way out to his parental leave. Uh, we see that the solid web standards are for personal data and you just mentioned the, the importance that you f are, are really putting on personal data and giving back control to the, I would say, to the citizens. Uh, are, are you also looking to, to move to that standard? So it's the, I would say it's a W3C, Tim Berners-Lee has one of the, 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 I would say, the grandfathers of the, of the internet as we know it. Um, uh, is, is, is this something that you're looking at or are you looking more at a centralized view where you will have an access with an EID or it's me and that you can see which agency has which data element for which purpose and um, duration? We, we, we we are working working it uh, right now with with uh, the, the, the technicians okay. of uh, of Boza, but uh, in fact every institution mm -hmm. has its own database, okay. Yes. And the, the the purpose is to uh, to to uh, to build. You, you you can mention that better than me, but to build uh, some algorithm the, uh, which will take those data to to uh, to to take it to one one uh, one uh, one access one easy access. Uh, to each mm -hmm. citizen to uh, to identify them. Um, so how it can it can um, uh, happen? Uh, uh, maybe uh, an application or a, a website uh, mm -hmm. where you identify yourself uh, through uh, it's me or EID or fast I don't know. Um, Mm -hmm. And then from that page, from that API, uh, you can have a, a quick view on which data uh, the, 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 the institutions uh, has got about you. Uh, it can be uh, over your pension, it can be over your properties, it can be over, uh, I don't know, your healthcare. Um, it's a, a, a way to find what uh, the state knows about you. The next step, because I'm already thinking about the yeah. next step is to is to have the readability to say, uh, okay, my my pension, for example, 
but uh, uh, which we um, who can uh, 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 which person can access to that uh, to that uh, that data uh, for which purpose uh, for mm -hmm. okay but you can uh, you can also uh, go further in a few years uh, to say okay my healthcare data I am okay I'm okay, I'm okay, agreeing to give it to uh, the science for research yes. purpose of, of so but the the base the basic uh, is to have uh, a correct view on the data uh, which the, the government has about uh, about you that's that's the 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 the, the, the very beginning I think and okay. that's already a big challenge so that, that's not that won't be easy uh, I already know it. Yes, we, 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 we all agree we have many challenges ahead. And, and uh, one of them is this interoperability and uh, the, the tough word to pronounce, but uh, even what? tougher. <laughs> the interoperability is the toughest one to implement. Let's let, uh, not just to, uh, <laughs> to get out but of your it, house. It, uh, in, interoperable, interoperability. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you uh, see. <laughs> yeah, it works because it can exist if there are data. Uh, and yeah. and that's that's the way we want to build the uh, the, the the that system. But the 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 government, the administration uh, have already uh, a good uh, a great experience in interoperability. Uh, but mm. it's not always uh, readable, and that's one of the problem. Uh, the 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 the, the is really important, but uh, because privacy builds trust. But to, to yeah. trust the system, you, you must uh, understand it. You must uh, have access to it. And yes. that's uh, a concern. But we, we still see examples any day, and I, I don't want to give too much critique here, but uh, all employers now, and I'm sure you're aware of this, have to have to fill in how many employees they have, which is something that the state knows. Yeah? So it's a little bit asking for something that is known in another agency yeah. to then be able to control who feels pressure to go to work or where should we go to do that and so those are small things and all that. the goal is that you shouldn't do that but up to today we keep launching these new apps that are imperfect that are that, that are feel very much like last minute quickly done things that could be done better and and so that's a little bit the frustrating part for our community to say hey we have so much expertise so many great developers and designers how come each time again we need to say, yeah, it's tough, it's hard. We had to do it with a small budget and a few people. How, how do you respond to that? Um, that that's part of a, uh, of a, uh, a job I, I'm, I'm on for the moment. That's the, 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 the privacy law, uh, the mm -hmm. only one law. Uh, yeah. It's to, to, uh, to rebuild uh, the, the, yeah, the, the, the regulation uh, about the, uh, the circulation of the data. And um, as I uh, analyze it, uh, there is a lot to be done to, um, to, to make that regulation more efficient. Uh, the, the, uh, I, what, I, what I've uh, noticed is that in, in the, the year 90s, uh, the, in the 90s, yeah, um, the, the state has begun his digitalization. And there, there were, um, the, the job done was not so bad. Uh, about healthcare, about uh, so social, uh, and uh, but that was not that there were not many law to 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 build uh, that yeah. uh, that data exchange, and in the the year uh, 2000, uh, 2000, 2010, um, the the legislature, the, the parliament, has yeah. began to build uh, 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 regulation, to build laws, but there were, those were uh, technical laws. And today, in 2021, probably because of COVID and because uh, mm -hmm. of the fact that uh, uh, people have noticed that government had uh, data about them, uh, that mm -hmm. was, uh, uh, they, they were afraid. Uh, um, and no, there is, um, I think there is a, a uh, a, a big change in the way that politicians uh, mm -hmm. uh, take in charge the concern of the data. That, that's for, to me. There is something happening now. Uh, to to uh, that there was. I, mean, I said to my team always. Okay, there was a, a, a technical era, then a, a juridic era, and now that's an ethical era. And that, mm -hmm. that's a, and politics will take that uh, that debate in hand. 
and then we will go back to 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 uh, to uh, Liga to to Juist, uh, and then to uh, to technical. That's what happened. No, I think, uh, and so the in the coming the, the coming uh, months and, and years, uh, I will have to to work hard on those laws to 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 rebuild a, a context a legal context uh, which can unleash data yeah. which can unleash uh, trans transparency with ability uh, about data algorithm um, that's really important yeah. okay we see a, a lot of uh, good uh, chats going on here so thank you for everybody participating in there and giving comments here so it's definitely worth a word to, word to read uh, i also think a little bit of fear for for some of us that this will take a lot of time because eh? it is so complex and we have to make new laws and at the, at the same time mm, there is this ambition and frustration why can't we move faster why do we have to see the same mistakes happening over again and i i see that you're smiling because you feel the same frustration but uh yeah we can <laughs> you're the elected official so we can point to you what are you going to do yeah, about no. the network are, are you going to measure this do you have do you have metrics yourself on this plan and these five axes where you want to see things have you already been able to establish kpis for example Okay, K KPIs to me are the the the, the ranking of Daisy. Uh, we we okay. are ninth uh, of twenty eight, uh, and uh, those are the KPI. Uh, I know exactly uh, our ranking in infrastructure, in uh, okay. administration, in uh, ecosystem. For example, okay. uh, we are sixteenth uh, uh, on the twenty eighth uh, about administration. That's bad. Okay. Yeah. That's not good at all. Uh, so, so uh, that that to me that's a good that's a that's an important point. That that means that okay. we are very late about administration. Uh, okay. And if with some uh, some actions in the in the data field uh, about B app about uh, uh, the use of uh, it's me or or e box or e invoicing. Yeah. Um, to to uh, to build trust uh, with the citizen in the usage, uh, the use of uh, the the administration, we can easily uh, comes to the sixteenth play, uh, place to the the tenth or, or so, and so my KPI uh, are objective KPI uh, which okay, are given, which are given uh, through Daisy. Okay, uh, our fellow board member, Bertio Hulu, is our expert on digital skills. He, he knows the metric by how that we are in the 12th place when it, when it, when it comes to human capital digital skills on um, yeah. the current index. And so uh, what are the plans for the Digital Belgium, uh, the, the skill fund that we had under the previous uh, legislation, uh, legislation period? And are, are you planning to continue that uh, to, to also yeah. make sure that the social vulnerable will not be left behind in this more and more digital world? Yeah, um, the, I, I'm I'm working on the 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 the, the, the coming uh, digital skills uh, fund for the, the, the coming years, um, but I, I think also that the 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 digital break I don't know how we say that in English digital break uh, the, the 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 vulnerable public uh, about digitalization is uh, is a, a big problem for me, uh, and. Uh, that that's one of the first thing that I on which I worked uh, when I arrived in this function function, uh, and I, I will release in the the, the coming days uh, so, some specific projects to 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 find uh, to fight against that that work. That's really important um, because, as I say in my introduction, uh, digitalization must be for everyone. Uh, the, 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 we, we cannot allow that there is a part of Belgium who is digitalized mm. and another part who is left behind. No, that, that's not the, 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 the manner I see uh, digitalization. That's a tool to simplify the life of everybody. That, that, okay. that cannot be uh, um, uh, a reason for complexity. Uh, and I, I would like to, to, to explain one of the projects. I, okay, I work yeah. on, uh, um, that's the, huh. in French we say écrivain public numérique. That's a digital mm -hmm. public writer. Um, and the, the purpose is to, to make a certificate uh, like uh, the le, le BEPS, le brevet écrivain, le brevet européen de premier secours, the, the Red Cross. Uh, uh, yes. It's like so the, the first thing. aid, the first aid at the at the station that your certificate it. that you can uh, that you can uh, yes. help people. Yeah, that's it. And in fact, it's a little bit the same. It's to to build a certificate that can uh, give the the competencies to uh, people to help other people to digitalize. 
the uh, at a, at a small scale, but the minimum requirement uh, required skills uh, to to be uh, digitalized. Uh, uh, the 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 King Baudouin Foundation uh, has re released a few weeks ago, a few months ago, mm -hmm. uh, the, the statistics about the uh, the digital work. Um, it's it's it speaks about forty percent of the population who doesn't have the minimum required skills to be part of the the the, the digital world. That's mm -hmm. a problem. Uh, it means that they cannot uh, authenticate uh, at their bank, uh, uh, the yeah. administration, and the purpose of the the, the digital uh, public writer is to uh, to unleash those mini those minimal uh, required um, competencies. I, I think I dare to say, knowing the people that we have in this in this session, that all of us uh, probably already earned a certificate by being the help desk of our families, the elderly people, and making sure the printers <laughs> work. And the antivirus is updated, and the apps are are, are installed but, but, and, and working. So yes, we're already doing that in a family relationship, of course. Okay, but so, tomorrow you will have a certificate, therefore. <laughs> okay, well, that's, it's it's good, but I hope that we can then get 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 a wider implementation and get get it further than just the family help. That's the purpose. Great. In fact, the 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 objective yes. is to is to build uh, more than yes. five thousand uh, certificates a year. Okay. So it, it, it has it's. Uh, I, I will just point you to the the open batch project, uh, as it was called, and and um, the person asking this question, uh, Berthe Hul, he, he 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 can give you all the details about that. Uh, but we, that's exactly this. It's it's tracking skills um, and, and 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 being able to to apply that sort of uh, skill sets uh, on a, on a public batch. And so it's okay. Uh, but I uh, I will leave my my email in the comments. He, he yes. can uh, send me. The, uh, yeah, it's already. In there and it's very easy because Boza does does report to you and to a certain extent and and so uh, they are they actually financed uh, Open Knowledge Belgium several times in, in in summer projects and and ongoing about this open batch work. So you have everything at your disposal to make this happen very quickly. We don't need to wait for laws or or, or technical uh, analysis. We can just uh, get that uh, out in the open. Uh, okay, and he's even my put, Great. So thank you for sharing your email. Uh, I hope you have a good spam filter in there. <laughs> um, let's go on. We have, we have another eight minutes. Um, and so uh, if there, we have many more uh, questions and remarks uh, that are, that are uh, yeah, I would say, going on here. But um, we have some, some remarks, um, yeah, I would say, uh, prepared up front. Uh, we see people here thanking you that, the, indeed, Digital Skill Gap will be not uh, forgotten and that the most vulnerable will, will be helped to, to catch on in this whole, uh, I would say, uh, this whole movement. Um, recently, you in, in the press, you had to intervene because there was some, I would say, uncertainty about projects run by the Social Security, SMALS, VOSA, um, which you have called to put data in the center, I think. Can you maybe elaborate shortly on that in, in two, three minutes, what the issue was and how you want to address it? Okay, the, oh, that, that's a, a, a technical. I know it's a tough one. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but the, the putting data at the center, but all the all the, yes. the, the discussion about the, the, the data through uh, COVID, through uh, the, the passenger locator form, uh, yes. and so on, um, have built the the, the the certitude for me to act to 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 um, to. to uh, uh, to bring transparency to to all uh, the, those data uh, uh, processes, um, putting data at the center is uh, is something who, who which um, which was used of uh, uh, worked um, by uh, by Boza to uh, to 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 to. Um, to give more simplicity to the people, we we spoke about uh, uh, only one slow. That that was yes. the purpose uh, to to build ag algorithm uh, to to, um, to to, uh, to to take data in in different databases uh, to match them to give a, a, a simple answer to. Uh, um, to to uh, to a question, for example. Uh, uh, a police officer need to know if someone has the uh, the correct age or or uh, must uh, can can be at, at this place or uh, um, the, the the project putting data at the center was to take some data in in a different database uh, match them to give one answer to that police officer uh, in fact no big deal uh, for the finality of the 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 but uh, the opportunity 
maybe to use that tool to to other for other purpose and that is where the problem can can, uh, can be because there is no um today there is no uh, democratic control about the the use uh which is made uh, about those ty those kind of algorithms and that is the problem i think because yes. we all have to know how that is decided uh, uh i i have big respect for uh, the, the 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 person who, who work in the administration but they are not uh, they, they, they have not they, they have no right to decide up mm. on a democratic democratic view what can be done or what cannot be done and that is that's the problem okay. that's why yeah, yeah. the the politicians have to take back that the that, that debate because in uh, some years ago, that was a, deb a debate uh, which took place uh, between technicians. But mm -hmm. being a technician is not being a politician. We we must uh, 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 together uh, identify what, what what we will as a use. The, in which world do, do do we want to live to to, to live tomorrow? Uh, and then technical solutions must adapt to that. And in putting data at the center, that's a little bit the, the contrary. Uh, uh, if technically it's interesting, that we will do it. Oh, that that's not the way it must mm -hmm. go. Uh, digitalization is a tool for the people, so the we the people have to decide. Who have to uh, to 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 understand uh, how it's uh, and and to to understand uh, how it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's made and for for what purpose and uh, therefore I want to uh, I, I think that the, the best place to to decide it is uh, at the parliament uh, on a public debate and okay. that's to me but Ali Boza uh, didn't do that uh, in a, in a, an evil purpose huh? that was a need to to, uh, to to make life easier but technically you know better than me that that kind of tool can be used to make more mm -hmm. transpa transparency and it's not it's not the tool the problem it's what we do with the the tool Yes, it's a slippery slope. But I think we're all happy to learn that we, the people, through our elected official, there will be more checks and balances on what is done, what is allowed to be done, and that we know what is done. And this is also a question from Adrian Steden. Is it possible to get an inventaire, as they say in French, an, uh, an overview of, uh, or are you building this today to, to see which agency is using which data elements for what purpose? And will this be opened at some point? That, thank you for that question because that's that's a, a perfect question because that was my first question uh, ah, as I okay. arrived in this, this office. Uh, <laughs> but you you won't like the answer. <laughs> that well, that we'll, we'll listen to it exist. first. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't exist, but that will exist soon. And that is okay. uh, my, my that, that that was one of my my first questions was to to, to have okay. that uh, that uh, overview and that's coming okay. that's coming. And okay, I said uh, I, I said step by step. Uh, so uh, we must not. You, you said, um, yeah, that we 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 want to go fast. Uh, yeah, it's important to go fast, but we, we it's important it's important it's important also not to precipitate. Uh, yeah. We we must we must act fast, but we we must act uh, in a good manner. Uh, we we it must be a strong act uh, that we. That I, we I think there is a great quote from you from Andy Heugebaert, as open as possible, as close as necessary. And maybe we can we can do as fast as possible without falling over our own feet, something like that, right? So that <laughs> sounds like a, a, a very good summary because we, we're, we're reaching the end of this uh, closing session, closing keynote. Uh, there were many more uh, topics, uh, maybe one very last one on open science. It's something that we haven't touched upon and something that is also very dear to our community. Uh, we had a question from Muriel Verbeek, um, who is referring to France, where they made uh, Plan National pour la science ouverte, um, exactly to make sure that there is more open access to the, the government-funded uh, yeah, academic insights, and uh, but also educational resources. It, do you also have a pillar in your in your policy that will focus on that one? Uh, honestly, uh, not, not not for the moment. Uh, we okay. we I have to choose my fights uh, and yes. I cannot do everything. Uh, 
uh, and the, the best manner uh, uh, of uh, not be able to do uh, one thing is to one yes. is wanted to to do everything. But uh, I, I'm sure that Thomas Dermine uh, will be uh, will, will interested in in that uh, in okay. that purpose. I'm sure. So you you can relay the question to Thomas, your colleague Thomas Dermine, do, and also we know that. education uh, is is a is, is, for, is a regional matter, of course. So it's not your your I would say not your your policy field uh, that, directly. But edu no, education is is really important for me because uh, oh. uh, we have. Uh, Saskia Van Uffelen, that you, you yes. must know, uh, yes, we, which work on, uh, on the, uh, the coalition for digital skills, uh, and there is a, a big, uh, a big work that that's done at the moment uh, to to. Uh, to point all the nodes in the same direction, uh, and that that's uh, a job which is uh, which is done uh, at a federal level to to do that with yes. all the, the stakeholders. So that's really important. There is a lot to do uh, in, uh, in. I think but, uh, with, with Saskia, you found the right ambassador to be able to unite uh, and to make all those noses in the same direction. So that's definitely I'm the very good step. The person of the world with Saskia. Okay, with, I, I I will on behalf of our community thank you for your time, also for the the humbleness and the openness that you shown uh, and we really look forward to working with you as a community to help you with the policy with feedback and uh, I, I would say the open badges are there so make it one of your policy success projects by opening it to the bigger forum uh, okay, the bigger yeah big big thanks and all the best to you and to everybody in this session and looking at us later follow uh, everything we do on uh, openbelgium.be our upcoming editions and via openknowledge.be to see uh, where you can help and support our cause. And with that, we are closing the session. Bye-bye, and thank you, Mathieu Michel. Thank you. Bye-bye. <clears throat> and thank you, Tom, for the excellent moderation, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I think the recording is over now, but I hear yes. you, and I think other people can still hear us too, but that's okay for me. Yes. <laughs> uh, but so, yeah, thank you everybody here. If, you, if you're still hanging around and you, you see and hear us, uh, we had some time constraints, and of course, we uh, when we get uh, politicians at the federal level, we can't uh, get more time than we had allocated, so uh, that's why I had to be a little bit short at the very end of it. Um, I think, or at least Astrid, uh, correct me, I session digital version this year. Uh